All right, welcome back to the channel. I want to show you guys how to sync up two camera clips uh, that are shot at the same time. So what you do is you navigate to your footage. So we have these two clips here. And if we take a look uh, under the metadata of each, we get uh, some pretty pertinent information here. We can see it's a Sony camera, serial number, your FPS, your shutter speed, ISO, also the color space monitor, which is very important if you're going to use a, a lot to convert. And then we also get some time code information if we just look under file. We can check out audio. We can preview that. We can also see the time code. So one of the ways you can sync this up is if the time code was matching, but we could see on this A camp, we're starting at hour 4.59. And if we click on the B cam here, we got hour eight time code basically. And we also have a different audio config where one and two pretty much don't have anything on it. Here's how you can sync them up. In the media bin here, you could right click, choose both. And then you could say, create new multicam clip using selected clips. And you could name it. You can give it a starting time code. You could do angle sync with an in and an out. So if you made an in marker for each, let's say there was some on-screen action, you made that your in or your out. You can do time code if that was available and they matched out, or you can make a marker. So let's try sound. And I guess we could say channel one. And then under here, we have move source clips to original clips bin. So I'll hit create. That'll analyze those two clips, but here, Audio sync failed, so it didn't like the audio it was listening to. Imagining it's because of the clip with no audio on one and two, but it did make a multicam clip. So as you could see, all my life I've perfected the process of painting portraits. So these are way out of sync. So that's no good. So there's a couple other ways we could do it. I'm going to delete this, and we're going to go over to the cut page, and we'll go into original clips here. Highlight them both. And we're going to choose this sync clips icon and we get this window. And now we have the same options essentially sync by time code, audio, or an in and an out marker. We'll try audio and it actually does quite a bit better job in this particular window. So let's hit sync. It'll analyze both of these. And then you can preview it by hitting play over here. So you can see she claps right there. And if we hit the other camera angle, collapse right on the money. So now these two clips are basically sunk and we could say save sync. And then that gives you these little icons here that shows you two sunk clips. So now if we hit sync bin, this shows us, uh, this would be our source window. And then timeline is what's ever on the uh, timeline down here which is this particular clip. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. We'll go back to our source window, which you can get there from these icons up here. You got source tape, timeline, source clip. Now, one thing with the cut page, it wants to have one piece down already, and the audio is better on this wide shot. So I'm going to drag that down to our timeline here, and we'll hit play. Oh, uh, portrait ad number six. So let's say we wanted to cut to the close-up shot, which is this one. And we will hit on the speed editor, our live overwrite, video only. And if we want to cut to the other cam, you could see right now we're on cam two, highlighted over here. And you could see it red right here. We want to go to camera one. So let's say right after this clap, I will push cam one and paint it on. And you can do a rough cut like this. So let's go back to timeline and hit play. Uh, uh, portrait ad number six. And there you go. That's how you can sync up two clips with opposing time codes, maybe weak audio. Pretty great little feature. And you can do a rough cut. You could have six clips, seven clips. The speed editor actually goes up to nine camera hotkey buttons. So you could have quite a few uh, clips if you were filming uh, multiple performers or whatnot. And that's how you can sync up your audio on two different clips. And you could also manually enter it, like I said, by making an in and out mark or changing the time code if you had a sync point. All right. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.